you are getting ready to listen to the voice of Dr. Radi Ferguson. 2004 Olympian. Four-time national judo champion. Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt. Author, speaker, and coach. What's going on? This is Dr. Radi Ferguson, and the holiday season is upon us, and that means friends, family, <laughs> and stress. I can tell you right now that I really enjoy the holiday season. I enjoy having my family around. I enjoy watching my kids open up presents. I enjoy the food. I enjoy the fellowship. What's difficult for me now is that I've I've gotten over um, the age of 40. <laughs> is that um, things change. Uh, for those individuals who are over 40, you notice that things change in your family dynamics. People who were there have expired, they've moved on, they've passed away. Uh, sometimes your family situation has changed. Sometimes there are separations, there are divorces. Uh, people, man, they, some people pass on and some people move on. And when that happens, the holiday season creates new norms for people. I know that I have some friends who recently lost um, a parent and the holiday season now is a new norm for them. I can tell you as someone who has gone through a divorce that the holiday season is still a new norm for me. It's still very difficult for me to reconcile that all the holidays that I had before are not like the ones that I have now. This is very different. It's a new norm. Here's what I would suggest. During the holiday season, it is a time where a lot of people make some fortunate decisions. Here's what I want to tell you. I want to tell you this. I want to tell you that you're wonderful. I want to tell you that you're beautiful. I want to tell you that you're awesome. I want to tell you that your life has purpose. I want to tell you that your family needs you. I want to tell you that your friends need you. I want to tell you that even if I haven't met you, I need you. I need what you have to offer the world because what you have to offer the world is going to infect somebody and that person is going to become a better person because of you. No matter what little value that you think you have, that little piece of value that you have, that's like the one nut or the one bolt that holds the whole car together. Like you keep this world together because you're here. You're a piece in it and we need you. I need you. So as you go through the holiday season, when you feel bad or you're feeling down, just play this particular audio and just know that Dr. Ferguson loves you. Know that he needs you. Know that your family needs you. Know that I think that you're beautiful. I think that you're awesome. I think that you're outstanding. And like I tell my kids in the dojo sometimes, I say anytime you're feeling down, I should just walk outside and just stand. And anytime somebody asks you what you're doing, you just tell them, I'm outstanding. All right. Listen, I know things are tough. Things are tough for me. Man, you look at your, your credit card statement. I got the same problems that you all have. I mean, I tell people financial bandwidth just changes the problems. The problems are the same. I mean, the, the low level problems and the high level problems are all the same. We all got to spend money. We all got to wrap gifts. We all got to try to put smile on our kids faces and we all got to try to stay in, inside of a budget while at the same time understanding that January is going to come around if February is going to come around and the light bill still do and the mortgage payment still do and the car note is still do and, and we're trying to save money while also trying to create different income streams and trying to prepare for our future prepare prepare for our kids prepare for retirement and also not just wait for re retirement but live our lives like we're all doing the same stuff we're all doing the same stuff here's what happens here's why people get really really disappointed people get really disappointed because their life doesn't work out the way they had it planned in their head i got news for you as michael jackson would say you are not alone. Okay? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you're not alone. Everybody goes through the same stuff. I, mean, I have in my mind what my day is supposed to look like today. I got my calendar all planned out. 
I got all that stuff. But my day doesn't work out the way that I want it to work out all the time. And you know what? I'm glad about it. Because if I was in charge all the time, I'd make some humongous mistakes. I'm glad that I'm able to talk to and speak to and commune with someone who I know is in charge. My belief system is very, very different. I can tell you this. Um, I'd like to share with you all. There's a book that I, I read. I've, um, I've had a, a, a few therapists in my day. Um, the last therapist that I had really recommended a good book to me. It's called 365 Days of Power by Rick Renner. And in that book, there's a devotional that you read every morning. It's kind of, I mean, it's really fantastic for me. It kind of keeps me on point in the morning after I wake up. People say, oh man, you, you've gone to therapy? Yeah, man, I used to have a, I had a sports psychologist when I went to the Olympics. I don't think that any, well, I believe that every high level athlete should have a sports psychologist. I had one. You need a sports psych person to talk to. I used to have a sports psych person to talk to. I had a, a spiritual advisor that I spoke to um, when I was competing and when I was doing mixed martial arts. You need people like this and you need a um, like a group, like a circle of, of, of friends and confidants that you talk to as well. I used to talk to my corner man, to my first and my second. You, know, you have a first and second for your corner. Like you need these people around. You need these people to help you because in life, and life is a fight. Life is a fight and sometimes you get knocked down and you got to go sit on that stool in the corner. And when you sit on that stool in the corner, you need someone to give you the right words at the right time so you can get off that stool and keep fighting. You also need somebody to ice you down a bit, to bring down, bring down the swelling sometimes because sometimes in life, there's no way around the bumps and the bruises. If you want to win at life, you got to go out there and you got to fight. And then there are times when your friends or the people in your corner need to, need to tell you, hey man, you're getting beat up pretty bad out there. We're going to throw in the towel. We're going to go back and train, get you the skills that you need, and then come back out here and fight again. But whatever the case, we're never, we're never not fighting. During this holiday season, make sure you, you, you empower yourself. Make sure you empower yourself with the right people. You, you've heard me say it already. You've heard me talk about the FFC. You know, exercise. Run an inventory of your friends. Run an inventory of your family. Run an inventory of your circle. Please do this, especially during the holiday season. I really, really care about you. I care about the people around you. And remember, everybody that has a smile on their face is not smiling on the inside. So check in with your people during the holiday season. This is Dr. Ferguson. I love you, but God loves you best. Take care and have a super fantastic day.